beading tools that I'll be using these are pearls this is the smallest size I think this is the biggest size and this is the medium size I'll be using some studs as well I'll be using of course excess I'll be using these um, invisible thread too which is 200 meter the amount that it contains so line on thread this is invisible thread i'll be using glue and i'll be using cup chain this glue i'll be using it for this cup chain before i use needle and thread the invisible thread to tack it down but i'll be using it i'll be using the gum for this um stud as well yeah basically so this is the needle beading this is a beading needle i'll be using and it is size 12 you can actually use any needle or needle of your choice but because i have these at home that is why i'm using this beading needle you can use a regular thread for this I'll be showing you three different methods to beat your fabrics if you're doing something like this. There are many ways you can bead, but in this video, I'll be showing you three methods I've been using, and I'll show you the ones that is more easier for me. You can choose any of the three methods, the one that you find really easy. I'm using two different types of bead for this one. They're both small size, but one has glitters. This one has glitters and the other one does not have it's just a plain um pearl beads so it does not have glitter so i'm just mixing it up you can choose any color i have some other colors here as well but i am not using them i'm just using white and this off white so the one that has glitter is more like white and the one that does not have the glitter is off white so now the first method is I'm just going to take four beads. One, two, three. The fourth one is going to be the off white. Put it, slide it inside, and touch where this is going to stop. So now it stops here, the bead stops here. So you're just going to tuck your needle a little bit and pick your material a little bit, a little bit without going deep. So you're just beading the surface. Nothing is showing on the wrong side of your material. Nothing is showing on the other side of your dress. So now, passing the needle through and just drop it. Let me come again with that. I'm going to take another four. Here's the first measure though. I'm going to take another four. It through. First, to see where this stops, then I'm just going to stop the needle. I do pick a little bit of material and just I'm not doing anything, just put bring out the needle. I'm going to put another bead now. Another four. I think that is pretty simple and it's fast, but. I will tell you the reason why I didn't like this method. So you can see I'm doing, I'm repeating the same thing here. Now you can see 
The only reason why I don't like is the fact that these beads are not secure. I want them to be secured. So that is why I am using this second method. The second method I'm going to be putting the same amount of beads, which is four. Second method, four. The same process. Pick it here a little bit and open your um what's it called the invisible thread and just touch your needle pass your needle through and drop it as you can see now this bit is to be secured this place is going to be secured so even if you drop your needle it's still not going to lose if you drop your thread this is this place is not going to be loose so I'm repeating the same process. Put four beads, push it down, push it down, and pick a little bit of this the material. I'm not going deep at all. Do not think you have a clean finish inside. Mm -hmm. After you pass your needle through, base this um, thread and pass your needle through the needle. That's all. So as I'm bidding, I'm securing it. As I'm bidding, I'm securing it. Instead of just continue bidding, let's do that one more time before we go to the next one. Because here is small, so I'm using two because there is two in here. So for this one now, I'll just be doing the same thing. Come here a little bit, pick a bit of this, and just pass your thread, as you can see. Because there is um, stones here, I'm just going to pass my needle under it to come out here. Yeah, that is it. Let's do the second method one more time before I go to the next one. You can choose to use any of these methods, but I prefer I'll prefer the second method because it allows me to secure my bridge. This is as you can see now that this is way really longer. So you're just going to take one out, depend on the amount that you need to take out. The remaining is going to fit in. So just repeat the same process. Pick a little bit. Secure. Just tuck your needle through inside. That's it. So that's the second method. And I really like this method. As you can see, the bit is well secure. Let me repeat that very first one. So that you will really understand what I am saying. So you know the difference between the first and the second method. This is really secure, right? As you can see, the thread is loose, yet the bead is still secured. Let's try the first one again. This is four. Put it down. It's long. I'm going to reduce it. Okay, two. Because there is stone here, you will not really understand. So let me just leave this place. Okay. So, putting four, three, four. then come out see that this space is not secured that's how you continue doing it. you pick another four another four and you touch it through and you repeat the same process 
that is the first method but this place is not secured each of these bits they're not secured so that is why i don't really like this method but people use it as well because it's faster unlike the second one now we'll try the third one but first let me complete this one okay so second method this is my own you can see this is really secure because it's something like tying it it's like you tie it so the third one we're trying is you're going to be picking more than six uh, more than four you're going to be picking more than four beads so let me use six for instance a bit longer this is six perfect Take your needle and thread to repeat the same method by picking a little bit. Let me just secure it. And secure this, you may not secure it. it, does not mean. But you can see that there is so much space in between. So you can now, you will now tuck your needle back underneath inside your material not penetrating deep tuck it back to almost half the half is three and you bring it out here tuck the needle back a little bit under your material and bring it out at almost half then when it comes out here pass it through this place this three bit pass it through and you continue digging i hope you really understand this method it's really easy as well and it's fast too so totally depends on the one that is preferable for you the one that is faster and more comfortable for you so the three method is super okay i'm actually using the three method but just that i do more of the third one because of i do more of the second one sorry because of securing so i'm going to repeat the same thing i have six bits here I'm dropping it to see where it stops, right? And repeat the same method by picking a little bit. Bring out the needle and securing it. Secure it. Now, this is one of the challenges of working with this thread be tangling and to be entering between the beads so a lot of patience is required when you're doing this now you slide your needle back it's not showing nothing is showing you know, it's inside your material and it's not penetrating deep you're not letting it go deep just a little bit to half at least pass your needle take it out and just stick it through this last three inside and you continue beading that's basically the three methods i'll be sharing with you that i used so far to get to this level that i am as you can see these are stored that i use gum to just place down so, So this I will continue doing till I get to the middle. I hope you find really, I hope you find this really helpful. Look at that. Now you can see how far I've gone with this beading. This is very full and it is very heavy. I added some cloth stones and stored inside. Those ones I just placed them there with glue. So there was nothing much. I just placed them randomly. I use glue to just hold it there. Those ones are done by glue. These ones too, they're done by glue. And I have a little bit of trimming here. I have a little bit of trimming as well, just because it has the same glittering effect with the swords. That was why I used this. Now, what I've been doing from the beginning is what I continue doing here. What I showed you when I was bidding this place was the same mechanism I have been using to 
switch the vest as well. So, for I am going to show you one more time. I'm just going to take my needle through the back, like so, through the back, then bring it out. And I'm just going to prick my beads. I've been using 3-3. Three, three, and now I am using um, medium size beads. So place it and just pick a little bit of your material. Bring the needle out, tuck the needle through the thread and drop it. Literally that's all. I'm going to repeat the same thing here. I'm picking two now because this space is small to occupy three beads. So I'm using two. Drop it. And just take this material like this. A little bit. Tuck your needle through the needle and drop it. I'm going to continue doing that. If we are planning to do this, you will be needing a lot of beads. A lot of beads. If you are doing it for yourself, it's okay. But if you are doing it for someone, please make sure you charge. This thing takes a lot of time. So make sure you charge so you don't have to regret anything. It takes a lot of beads. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with a pack of medium sized beads. So I have just little left. And I used half pack of um, that big size I showed you earlier. It consumes a lot of beads. Hope you are getting it. You drop it. Pick a little bit. very easy but you just need to create time for this because mm. there's nothing you can do you need that time a little bit and again don't say i didn't tell you if you're working with invisible thread it's going to tangle it's going to tangle a whole lot so you have to be very patient by the time you want to start doing this. It's going to tangle, especially when it's long. It's going to tangle a lot. So please take your time when you're trying to do this. I'm just picking the the, the only the material i'm not picking the lining only the surface i'm not going deep at all three beads then pick a little bit of your fabric a little bit without going deep 
without touching the lining just a little bit then open like this and pass your needle through the thread so this method really works well for me like i said earlier it helps me to secure each of my beading before moving to the next one so i really prefer this you can try any of the three methods that I showed you earlier and any one that you find really easy to work with. So feel free to go for it. I reduce it to two beads because of this space. Okay, I think this is the last one. If you watch this video to this point, I believe you can now bead a material. Any material you can bead, you can try this on any fabric. I just want to quickly show you how beautiful this is looking. Look at that. and it's very heavy and i have this cup chain that i'll be placing on top here it's going to be on top of this place so let me show you i'm going to achieve that this is where i'm placing it so i'm just going to be taking my glue and put it straight on wherever i want to put my cup chain i'm just going to drop it gently on top of this glue Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you find it really helpful, kindly like, share, and don't forget to drop your comments as well. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.